How are you guys upping the ante when it comes to this new what season? Is upping the ante? What is that? Like uh, increasing everything. Oh, okay, good. Sorry, I'm like I'm from Argentina, so. Um, well, season two it's quite different from season one. There's a lot of new characters. There's a lot more special effects. There's a lot more vampires. So it's um, it's a really heightened season. You know, there's a lot more action, and there's a lot um, less for us to explain to the public because they already know the characters and they already know what's going on. So we can just go into deep into what the the characters are feeling and their own uh, relationships between each other. So it's been quite cool. How scary are the creatures in real life when you're on set? You know, they're not that scary because you see the makeup and also they're all these incredible dancers. Most of our vampires are, are incredible contemporary dancers. So, you know, I like to go dancing with them on the weekend. <laughs> but then, after we edit it and the special effects people do their magic, they're pretty frightening. So. I, um, I've decided not to look at any episodes, not to watch them uh, during nighttime. I watch them like at 3 p.m. so I can shake off, you know, the images from my head. If not, I cannot sleep. We also have a, a, the strain has gone virtual reality. What are your thoughts about that aspect? Virtual reality at the 3D? A, here, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's been amazing what FX has done with the virtual reality pavilion. And it's been so much fun for the fans to go in, put those goggles in, and just feel that they're in our sets and chasing, you know, by vampires, if that's a good thing. Uh, so it's been great. Uh, we went there yesterday. We surprised the fans. Um, and, you know, they're loving it. Is that scary for you to try? It was a bit scary, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it feels pretty real when you get, like, you know, the vampires chasing you and you can see all around. And it's it's such a great new medium. You know, I, I, um, I actually, a friend of mine, he has a wonderful nonprofit called Riot, and they took that um, technology to Nepal to show people what has happened during the earthquake. So um, it's such a good way just to put people in the moment, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, it, you know, it can happen with fictional things, but it can also happen with things that are happening in reality in our world. Mm -hmm.